Okay, so I'm back. I had to check on my cakes, which are making. The bread maker has yet to make the cake, yet the rice maker is already done making its cake. Once again, proving that the best bread maker I own is my rice cooker. <laughs> Like, it really does seem like there is some kind of parry animation happening with these characters. And it doesn't seem like you lose anything for, um, for dying. You just go through, kick a bunch of these dudes' asses over and over again, and you don't really lose much of anything. Okay, his attacks are very slow. Well, his strong ones are. Dodge back from him. I need to remember, but that's not how this guy works. It almost seems like staying right up in his butt is the way to get up, never mind. It's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. <laughs> Since you hail from Mount Huagro, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. Okay. A simple hand gesture can bind the enemy in place. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. You'll be able to hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. No! The young boys these days know no manners. Fear not. Teach them a lesson with your new spell. I like the 
they could also use that as like a practice thing. Like, I want to see if there's like combinations or something. Like, X, X, Y. See, like, right there, that was some kind of combo. It was X, 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 Y. But it's like super slow. Let's see what happens if I... Okay, so I can charge this if I need to. But if I charge it, then I do not regain stamina, mana, mana, mana. A, uh, a sneak up type thing. Like I was trying to charge my shit up and then like hit him when he was least expecting it. You know, back when I was in high school, I was very much fascinated with Chinese mythology. Japanese mythology was what everybody else was really super interested in, but me, I was more interested in the Cardinal Direction spirit temples, and specifically the Azure Lion Turtle. Or was it the Azure Dragon? I can't remember. It's been ages. I just know that for a while, I was a big fan of a lot of Chinese mythologies. I even had a Chinese mythological book. It still feels... Japanese, but the landscapes are very Chinese. Like, you know what I mean? It's like if you were to make a Chinese anime, it would still be anime-esque. There's elements of this that are unavoidably anime. Even if they, like, originate from China, you just still have like this internal bias towards it or some sort of mental thought. <laughs> That's a disappointment. I was hoping for it to go wong. I wonder how Gary's been doing. Oh yeah, we just got a point, didn't we? I want to see what happens when I fully upgrade that. What? Oh, that's classic Xbox right there. Like, the sun itself is being moved around to make it um, have the exact lighting that the game designer wants. That's like such an old school thing. Reignite the sparks. What does this do? Uh, 
What? Oh! Oh, it resets my level! Oh, okay. Each talent level moderately increases damage dealt to immobilized enemies. Hitting an immobilized enemy with light attacks slightly extends the duration of the next immobilization if inflicted onto them. Okay. That's cool! So you can respec anytime that you want. I do not know what these are for. Um, a tiny piece of gold, its origin indiscernible. Perhaps some trade could be done at the Keeper's Shrine. Is that where I currently am? It doesn't seem like it's an item you can buy. that doesn't hurt me. Evil repelling medicament? Medicament. Huh. Stone spirit. This is a fortitude moment spirit which is which I'm gonna be using crafting weapons. Uh by day they patrol the hills, by night they spin their yarn, such as life of lesser guys. Their hard-earned yarn can be used to craft armor. Huh. I might not want to spend any of that. Set spells. just parade in, do you? It's not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Fly! <laughs> well, that's cool. It might be humble. But my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. What do you mean, your shrine? What the... How do I... I want to, like... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go check on my cake.